Are you looking to turn your point cloud into a mesh, pad surface, reverse engineered, or create simply a surface model? Search no longer and I will show you how. Welcome back to my channel, Klaus here. Today, I will walk you through the workflow on how to create a surface model from a point cloud. So we're starting with cleaning, meshing, and then turning it into a surface model. Big thanks to Tommaso from Vijaya to supply me today with a data set, a ship hull. Which we can see here. So that's a part of the ship hull, and we can see there's also a lot of scaffolding there which we need to clean up. Hang on! Are you looking to clean your point clouds? I actually have a video which shows you things you should know about cleaning point clouds. Just click on the card above or find the link below in the description which help you with it. All right. So we cleaned the point cloud and we can also change the color from real color to inspection or we can also change it to smooth to see everything equal color. Right? Time for us to turn the point cloud into a mesh using the 3D mesh option. I'm choosing here to do it in two steps to create first a rough mesh and afterwards this one we refine the mesh and I'm choosing here the cloud interpolation option to get to see more details from the entire ship hole. And you will now notice that we have some blank spots and we have the options to also fill them depending on their border. So we call it here curvature and we can change it from flat, medium to high representation of how it's following the shape. They are easy blank spots. And then there are also the tricky ones. So like here. So why did it happen here? So if we have a look back at the point cloud, we cleaned it and there was actually standing a scaffolding which shadowed this area which didn't allow us to capture this full spot. So what do we do here? So we can use some tricky clever stuff in Cyclone 3DR which helps us to overcome this obstacle and finalize our mesh and brings us to the next step and turn the mesh into a surface model. We have a separate tab for this one, the reverse engineering tab and we're using here first a small part before we go to the rest of the ship hull. First step first to create a network which represents it in quadrangles. Secondly, we check our network which we created by going to edit network. You might wonder for what? Let's check it out in practice. So we have two options what we can do here. We have the pencil to move, edit and delete and we have the new segment option. And if we're using space, we can swap very easily between them. So here we just did it. So there's another one, we create another segment, delete the other one and the red icon is changed. So another thing, we can also change a B spline to a line by simply double clicking onto it, as we can see here or vice versa, we can move a spline into a line. And we are also able to adjust that B spline again. I mentioned earlier, we also want to follow shapes. So we can see here the shape and we can just move our uh, nodes accordingly. And we can add new segments to follow the entire shape along here. So I move those ones across. Once we're done with this, so then we go back to editing our red notes and repeat what we already just did before. So last clicks and we're going to the next option to actually now turn this one and generate our patch. So we go to generate patch. Oh no, what's going on? All right. 
So from here, we adjust it again to that one here. And it's better, but still. So let's have a look again. Before we had it now like this. So we're adding those lines here and we're changing those ones. And afterwards, we have a complete patch here without any holes. So we're done with a small detailed area. So let's have a look. So we do the small ones here first. So I did the other ones already. And now we can move into the next part, the entire ship hull. And the process is very much the same as before. So let's have a look first only at the ship hull. We're going again to generate the patch. This time you will notice automatically this one will be bigger and this is fine because we have bigger areas. So did we miss something? Ah, oh, there's some smaller area, but that's not too much a trouble. So we can adjust this one. So let's have a look. We're creating new ones. So you can see I can actually go over multiple ones and I create multiple at the same time. And what we can also do, we can select multiple nodes and move them all at once. How cool is that? So let's move this one here in the middle that we have a small area with a focus on the ball hole here. So what we're doing, I create now, just move this one into the center and create four more lines. So one, two, and three, and four. So this one will be the border for the top. And I will adjust this one towards the edge. Followed by our bottom border of it as well. So let's move them also closer where they belong. And after we move them, then we can also adjust our line. So I straighten them first and then bring them back to a B spline. And now you can see with the nodes, I can simply drag them and change the nodes also in the height so that they follow completely the shape. So let's do it again. We move it closer where it belongs. We change the line and then we adjust the line by grabbing the little nodes for the B spline and just continue this with the other ones as well. So this one doesn't look right. Let's have a look from a different angle perspective and we can see, okay, we need to lower them a little bit more so that it like nicely follows the bottom line there. And the last one there. All right, so in the middle we have already four nodes, so why we're not reducing the number of work to do there, deleting them. And we'll repeat now the same for the top border. So we're done with this. We're checking where else do we have red nodes and then we remove them as well, adding more, deleting them. What is then currently necessary to do so? Good. Now when we have a look on the bottom of the ship hull, we can see there we have the shape. So what we want to do, we want to amend our nodes to follow the shape. So in this way, we adjust those ones to nicely follow it and just also the B spline afterwards as well. So how does it look when we're done with it? So we have a few more detailed areas, which I did there. We follow the shape from the ship and we create our patch. So we have the patch done for the ship hull. Let's give it a visual check if everything is all right. Okay, looks good. And we'll blend also our small areas together with it and give it another look. Ah, oh, yeah, looks really good. And now we need to just export it. So we go to File, Export, choose our selected object. And what op 
what can we do? We can now export our files either one as an iGIS file or as a step file, which we can bring then into the next program. Hope you liked it. Check out my next video if you want to enhance your point cloud cleaning tools. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and I will see you next time. Bye.